Welcome to New Petal Valley, where our farmer has just moved into his brand new house. However, it's just a house, not a home. Not yet at least. Today we'll make it a home by moving this guy in. Of course, we're going to be adding the walls, the floors, the rooms, the doors, everything a farmer needs to be comfortable and happy while he looks after our crops. Now of course we've only been introduced to our farmer, but I'll let you in on a bit of a secret. There won't be just the farmer living here, and it won't even be another villager living here, but something else that is very important to our big project that we've got going on right now. Now I hope the views of the inside are looking as good as the outside. I try to keep the outside theme of the flowers and the leaves and all the colors inside here. And I gotta say, picking flowers is really difficult. Well, not picking flowers, choosing flowers is really difficult. Picking them is easy, but choosing flowers to put in here, there are just so many options and I keep thinking, which one's the best one? I'm sure anyone is great, but it's a really tough decision when you get there, especially when you're trying to make this inside look as good as the outside. Now, I don't know about you, but I like this interior. I think it's a good place for us to start with the rest of our houses that we'll have in here. And you know what? I feel like it set the bar pretty darn high for us. Now, we are going to walk around the house in just a short bit of time, but I do have to ask you a very important question while I've got you here. What is the next house that we add to this area? I mean, we've got this style. It's working really well. Who moves in next? Let me know. Look at our farmer over there working super hard looking after all those crops and I think we have to tell him that I don't think it's just wheat and potatoes that are in season right now. Where are the beets? Where are the carrots? The real colorful ones. <laughs> I want to see those ones in here. We'll have to have a little bit of a talking to that guy just to tell him, listen, there aren't any seasons. Just grow everything. Now, while we were building, we did run into a little bit of a problem. We ended up getting very close to the end of our diamond pickaxe. So we got diamond pickaxe version two. And of course, as we said, we're gonna keep each of our first pickaxes. There we have our wooden one. There we have our stone one. If you look very carefully, it's there. Our iron, our gold, and our diamond, the very first ones. Now, of course, we can upgrade this one and we can enchant it just like that one there. But I think what we'll do is we'll keep the golden one enchanted. It, it kind of does bother me, I'll be honest, that that one is a little bit glowy, but it doesn't bother me enough because it was our first one. You know, that's the rule. It's not that they all have to look the same. It's that it meant something. And that was the upgrade before that one. And of course, who knows? There might be an upgrade after this one. We'll see. Now, after getting this guy moved in, I gotta tell you, I need to relax. I need to calm down with a good old mining session. And you know how we're doing mining sessions, the 100 block challenge. That's what we're going to be doing, but with a little bit of a twist because turns out we can actually do 100 blocks of a challenge. And that is actually a very sneaky way, which was pointed out to me that we can use ourselves trapdoors and actually mine 100 blocks in each direction. So that was where we got to last time. That was the diamond path and oh man. I don't know if we're going to top that. We've kind of gone out that way, so I think it'll be a little bit sneaky if I went out that way. So today what we'll do is we'll go out in this direction. Uh, where is it? There it is. Can I place it? I think I can just place it like there, right? Oh wait, I know how I do it. Like this. 100 blocks of challenge coming on up. We'll take down these coordinates and we'll find some cool stuff along the way. Now, I don't know if I'm going to all of a sudden pop out in a hundred blocks just into something. As a matter of fact, I can save on torches, but I need to see stuff. But I don't know if all of a sudden I'm going to see lava and like pop out somewhere. Also, I just realized I need another trapdoor to get myself back under here. Oh, all right. Uh, I will just leave these for now and I'll mine them on my way back. How about that? That's the rule. We'll mine those on our way back. Also, before I get going, I gotta go get those coordinates. Oh, here it is. Oh man, <laughs> I tried to hold shift there. That was just habit. I couldn't help but feel like I needed to hold shift even though I couldn't hold shift. All right, let's hope I don't pop out the side here. Any, you know what? I'm just gonna keep myself safe. Any diamonds at all? Bit of redstone, probably even seen that redstone to be fair. We're not that far away. Actually, probably, probably new redstone. Yeah, that's probably new. Anything over there, gold? Do I take the gold? I don't think it's worth it right now. Oh man, <laughs> every bit of lava is that much more scary because it feels like it's right on top of you, which I mean, it's right below me, but it's, it feels like it's right there. This is absolutely ridiculous. I have found diamonds, but I will tell you, this is block negative 432 and we started at block negative 532. That is absolutely ridiculous. Can I just get the title of luckiest player in the game? 
Period. That's it. There's no one else. They can't be. This is... This is stupid. <laughs> really? How does this happen? Every time. Oh, man. It's also just like, oh, yeah, it's just on this level. No other level. Just because. Just rub it in. All right. Uh, nothing over there. Don't want to pop down because I'm stuck here. In which case, it's series over. We sit in this little crevice for the rest of it. I have no other phrase to describe it. That was dumb. That was beautiful. Beautifully dumb, I guess is the phrase. Beautifully dumb. Lucky. I got nothing else to say. I need to get these without actually popping up. So I guess if I just stand on the edge of them and then don't mine above me, but only mine just next to me, I think I could probably pick up all the stuff that we need. This'll work, this'll be good. We can still maintain our immersion of 100 blocks by itself in, oh, almost messed that one up, without having to stand up. The real challenge is the redstone on the ground. Oh no, <laughs> uh, I guess we can't pick those ones up. Maybe one day I'll come back. Well, one day I will come back for those. Today, we'll just pick up what we can get. We won't be leaving that redstone behind. I have got a genius idea to pick it up. We could actually get this 100 block challenge working legitimately. Like, look at that. Picked everything up, not a worry. Very, very easy, actually. Sneaky moves. By the way, I didn't realize that the 100 block challenge that we jokingly started a few episodes back was going to actually be looked at as something that's really cool to do. And I'm glad that I am not the only one that thinks it's a cool idea to go ahead and slow the game down just a little bit, but slow it down to the pace that you enjoy the game. I'm loving this chilled out way of playing the game that we've got. You know, no rush. Why rush? We can all rush, but we can do this nice and slow, have a fun time, and you know what? We'll still get there in the end. We don't have to be there right now. It's just so much more enjoyable. I gotta say, if you're not trying it, Try it. This is the most unconventional mine shaft I have dug in this game. As a matter of fact, can I just do this? Then we know <laughs> where it is. We can close it off, say that's the end of it. Well, there you have it. Another successful 100 block challenge to put down in the books. Now I need to remind you about something very important. If you are enjoying this video, please leave it a like because that helps me out tremendously. Also, we do have a Discord server, which is linked in the description right now. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We've got plenty of these on the way and you don't want to miss them. Now we've used up all of our luck for today and I think it's about time we get into the meat and potatoes. Not the wheat and potatoes, the meat and potatoes. And I mean it, <laughs> there is going to be beef involved in this today because what we are going to do is get our little cow farm going so we can get all the leather we need, so that we can get all the bookshelves we need, so we can finally move in our villager that we have waited for so long to get in and not you, sorry. <laughs> you do a good job, you're just not the villager that we need. You know what, I take that back. We need you a little bit. Maybe I'd like you a little bit more if you didn't trample all the crops. That might be a good idea. You know what we need? We need something that you can put on boots that doesn't make you trample crops. We'd totally dispenser it onto this guy just so he keeps our crops safe. So here we go, welcome to our farmer's house. I try to keep things a little bit more colorful and a bit more weird. I did mention that in the last episode. I wanted to keep things a little bit wacky. So we've got stuff growing out the ground, vines, leaves coming through the roof, flowers everywhere, and it's nice and bright and colorful. I love it, look at that. Even look, <laughs> I decided, you know what, we didn't get grass blocks because I don't have silk touch, but look at that, flowers growing in the house. It's so good, it's a little bit homely, nothing too crazy. Nothing too uncrazy, just uh, just a good middle ground. So going upstairs on our fancy little spiral staircase, welcome to the farmer's room, which might I add, the farmer does path to this bed. That was my main concern. Would he just end up wandering around looking for a bed? No, he finds where the bed is when it goes to nighttime, which is actually great. And also I like the little design we got here, the colors, look at that. Hey buddy, yeah, <laughs> why don't you just show off? Uh, is it turning nighttime? It isn't. What are you doing up here? So I bet you didn't see this place down here at the beginning of the video. And well, you couldn't have, I, I didn't have it on here. I hadn't built this place, but this is gonna be where we're gonna move in our new guests into this place. Well, they, they're not gonna be guests, <laughs> they're moving in. This is gonna be where we're gonna put our cows all the way down here. I've got a plan, you see, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna use an old school way of doing cow farms where you'd have cows and you put a little bit of water and the cows would start bobbing up and down. So they'd be sitting there, you dispense some water and then they start bobbing up and down. You feed them wheat, 
well, not torches, wheat, when we got wheat. And they make little baby cows. The baby cows fall into water, which will be down there. In fact, we got we got ladders. Let's, let's ladder down there. So the baby cows would fall down here and start moving along this way until they get to the end here, where we could beam them up through this tunnel over there to the top, and we could get all the leather and beef that we need. And we're gonna be eating really good. Actually, wait, <laughs> I thought I'd come down here before. Turns out I went down the other one. There we go, we'll take our ladders back. They're not gonna be here forever. So my plan for my cow farm is actually quite easy. There'll be a little bit of redstone over here, just for our convenience, so we see the cows bop up and down. And then the real tricky part is getting the cows to survive the trip up the water spout. I suspect we'll have a few missing cows, but you know what? I can handle it. It's really no big deal because we'll have probably like 10 cows in each of these and they'll be more than enough if we come down here regularly, just breed a few cows, breed a few cows, and eventually, bam, we'll have all the cows we need, all the leather we need. We can finally move in our brand new librarian when we when we get it one day. Look at this, it's turning nighttime, which does look quite pretty, I must admit. Never really see that. Cause I'm always too scared of the night in this game, but look at this guy, should be up here, sleeping. There needs to be a villager snoring sound. <laughs> that would be awesome. But you know what you gotta do? You gotta get out of the bed, I need to sleep. It's that time again where I get to run out at night and make a fool of myself because we need spiders yet again, because I kind of overlooked something. Oh, look at that, librarian, zombie villager. Now, hey, I've got questions. I mean, you're, you're not gonna be around with a zombie villager, but my question is, if we cure a zombie villager like that, a librarian, does he stay a librarian even if we don't get a bookshelf? I wonder. I've never done it with the newer villagers. I'm curious. Now, spider, please give me some string. So the reason, I haven't even explained the reason we need string. The reason that we do need to get string is because, what is that? Oh, that's my tree. <laughs> Looked like an enderman out the corner of my eye. Look at that. When you look quick, boom, enderman. The reason that we do need to get string is because we need to make some dispensers. And of course we need string to get bows to get dispensers to put a bunch of, uh... can you, can I speak? to get a bunch of water flowing for these cows when we need it. First string, we need six. Six pieces of string. Actually, no, no, no. We need nine pieces of string. Oh, we're gonna be good friends with these spiders by the time we're done. Oh, hey, buddy. Look at that, that is super lucky. I just got a skelly, dropped me a bow, and now we don't need to have completely fixed bows. Well, it's been a while like that. We don't need to have a completely fixed bow. So that kind of is three in one. I've just realized I don't have enough food for this, so we are gonna have to possibly cut this short. Please don't tell me that. I heard a little baby zombie on me, but I don't know what has happened to that guy. There's a spider there, a spider there, and I think there was another one down here. You know what? Let's just go for it. Oh, no, look at that. Did you see that guy? That guy is completely geared. I changed my mind. There's another guy. All right, yeah, we're getting out of here. There is no way. We'll come back tomorrow with food this time. Oh, I think I've created a wall. All right, one last spider for good luck. Oh, here it is. Here it is, spider versus skeleton. I think the skelly's got it. But give me my string. Yes, worth it. <laughs> that was worth it. Oh no, not the pig. Oh man, this is, I have created a monster. No way. Oh, we made it. That was very close. There is a zombie right outside my house and a skelly. That has got, I, I'm pretty sure what the skelly has. Wait, why am I putting it in the furnace? Oh well, won't waste that coal. The skelly's got flame on his bow. I'm not gonna open that until I've got a bit of food. All right, you know what? Look at this, I didn't realize we've actually picked up six string and one bow. I did not know that. So we're actually all right. Don't have to wait till tomorrow. I can show you what I've got done. So come on down here. I need to show you what I've got done. Not too much, it doesn't look too pretty yet. I kind of was waiting for nighttime, so I started decorating the area. And here we are. So this is what we needed the string for, because in here, we've got ourselves that little block there. You see the big bright block? <laughs> That's what we're actually gonna be replacing with a dispenser so that we can dispense water. And if we had a cow here, the cow would be bobbing up and down over here in the water. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a dispenser in there. It's gonna dispense water. The cows go bobbing up and down here and there we go, we feed them wheat. They make little cow babies, <laughs> they come down here. Little calves, all right, there we go. They would come down here eventually and, well, 
uh, we'll wait for them to grow up and then you know the rest. I'll show you the actual path that one of these cows would take. Over here, I haven't actually finished this one. So we'll just drop down here. You can see there's still the ladders. I need to get rid of those. So the baby cow would be standing around in that block over there. And the reason I've got that piston is just in case the cow gets stuck, we can push it over there and it's got another chance of falling down. But they normally kind of fall off of this eventually over time. But what would happen is they would get pushed over here. We'd push them down here. Boom, like that, in here, like that, nice and easy. I didn't even press jump, that just jumped me up there. And then they would just follow this path. I could probably change this over to some ice or something. They'd follow this path, and when they get to this side, there would be a few other cows pushing them. They would be jumping like this, because of this weird little water piece. And as soon as they get on that, yeah, they gone. <laughs> and they're in, they're in cow jail over here. Pretty simple, actually. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. Now, I'll be more impressed if it actually works. Now that we got everything set up there, I've put the dispensers in, we're gonna go on the hunt for cows. I think I've actually got a bit more wheat in one of these. Oh man, don't look, look away. That is, uh, that is hideous what I've got there. Nice and easy cow, here we go. First one, there we go. If you're wondering where we got these leads, by the way, <laughs> uh, let's just say there was uh, two llamas and a wandering trader that were around with us and they are not around anymore. Let's, let's just leave it at that. Right, so our first load of cows is actually only one. And it turns out it's quite a large guy, so we're gonna have to break our door for him. There we go, come on down here, cow. I know you can make it, you made it past the door. That's all I need to know, that you can still make it around here. <laughs> it's a disco cow. It's gonna make me dizzy. <laughs> can you only imagine what that cow is seeing? Oh man, the realism in this game is just amazing. It really is. Here we go, follow the wheat. The wheat's the, the wheat is the, the way to do it. Hey, don't get scared. You're not, you're not, you're probably one of the ones that are gonna survive. The first cow coming right in here. Let's try get him into his spot. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure he could. Yeah, now we'll have to get rid of this actually. I was gonna say, I could maybe fit him in there. All right, give me that lead please. I will take that. Follow the wheat. There we go, just a little bit more. I wouldn't mind if you followed it a little bit more. All right, we'll do this manually. Get in the cow hole. I'm pretty sure you are only one block wide, so get in there. There we go, all right. First cow, let's just give it a test. We've got the first one in there, we press that button. Pops up, like that, we'd give you some wheat. Not gonna waste it on you. Actually, you know what? Let's see how much you love me. There we go. All right, yep, that's what we would do. And if we had a few others, they'd be bobbing up and down. We'd get all of them, they'd have a little cow baby drop out there, and we'd get them over there. Nice and easy. And in fact, once we got two cows in here, we can just breed them up there, and we can bring them into these holes without having to make them into leather. So that's actually a pretty nice and easy way of doing it. There we go, switch the machine off. Simple redstone as well, actually. For people wondering how basic my redstone is. We can do something more, but nothing yet. I mean, we're only getting started. I don't wanna to have to have a big, uh, big redstone contraption back here. Basically, the button's on the other side of that one. The button powers that, which powers the redstone on there. The torch, redstone, redstone. Pretty simple, not very crazy redstone stuff. You know, cow hunting is some intense business. Look at this. Oh, there we go. I've just got to, I've just got to tell you that I'm struggling to find cows and I'll find more cows. I am so sure that when I was not looking for cows, they were absolutely everywhere. And the minute I start looking for them, they all go hiding. They know what their fate is. No, 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 buddy. You're not breaking off this lead. There's a new lead. And give him my other one back. Oh, this guy's gonna be a problem cow, I can tell already. Won't make it up, one block tall, grass blocks, come on. Slowly but surely, you're on your way. Baby cow steps, come on. And there it is, the final cow, which appeared to be floating for a bit, but that's all right. We'll uh, suspend reality for this cow, come on, follow me. Is he stuck in the block? Let me just go in there. There we go, now follow. This cow apparently doesn't like wheat. There we go, changed his mind. <laughs> it's like, I'm gonna get the lead out. No, I like wheat again. There we go, come on in here, cow, follow me. You don't have too much to do in here. Just stand in the little cow box and we'll all be happy. Go in there, get in there. Beautiful. All right, so here is the moment of truth. We switch it on, two of those. I think the one guy, there we go. I can hear it, let's wait. Beautiful, the parrots and the bats. Now, there should be a little baby cow in there somewhere. Yeah, no, I, I don't hear the baby cow in here. I don't see him coming down there. I think he's still in here. Let's do this. Now, oh no, uh, you get back in there. So it turns out my idea is not completely foolproof and I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, this is actually a little bit of a problem. No, you know what? Here we go. 
Smart moves. I can do that and jump out of here this way. All right, I can't do that. Let's use the same mechanism I used for my cows to get out of here. Yeah, look at him. He's just sitting there taunting me. Like, <laughs> he's just taunting me. Just showing off that he can't get caught. All right, one more time. You know what? I just went down to check and I can see where the problem is. And it's actually a pretty simple fix. So what the problem actually is, actually, this could, this could be, <laughs> this could be very bad. Oh no. All right, I can get rid of this guy. Let's just pick that up. I can get rid of that one, but I have to be super quick because the minute I break this, these cows are going to shoot off this way. So I'm going to be holding right click while we do this. Oh, well, there we go. Didn't, I messed up, but it actually worked. All right, let's just do this again. Shoot these guys up, put them down again. So I'm going for attempt number three right here. And I think we've got the baby cow already down here. And yeah, there he is. And I've switched things around. I think I was just getting a little bit too complicated for myself. So if I just go in here, why is he still going that direction? Come on, move out that way. Well, I guess why, I don't know why he's trying so hard to get out that way. There we go. <laughs> Almost, come on, one more chance. Let's go again. Get into that stream just behind you. I don't know, oh, you know what it is? It must be because the parent cows are there, I suppose. I don't know how we could stop that. All right, there we go. The cow kind of just worked his way up here and fall down on top of him. All right, first cow in the jail. Now, our time has finally arrived for us to get our very first books from our brand new farm. And man, <laughs> oh, I gotta tell you, that farm, this farm, has been going for a few hours now. By the way, do you like that? How's that for a little thing? I, I actually forgot about that. It's been going for a few hours now, and you can see I've made the place look a little bit more pretty. Look at these guys over here. What are you doing? This guy's stuck in the ground. <laughs> I'm actually surprised. Uh, is he? No, he's not. No, don't worry. We'll, we'll let those guys go in here eventually. But let's go over here. Push this button. There we go. Feed these guys. So there we go. We'll have another baby cow coming up here shortly. Now, I figured out the way the system works at the bottom. We went with the final one that I showed you just before. But what I've noticed is when one cow comes in, the next one pushes the next one up. So it's really no big deal. And if they eventually grew up to big cows, they'll just end up ignoring their so-called parent cow. <laughs> Look at all his faces watching me. Look at this. <laughs> that looks so silly. Oh man. But yeah, they'll just ignore their parent cow and they won't come back to it. So that's uh, that's a bonus. There we go. You two make three. All right, pretend a cow fell down there. It works. You gotta believe me. Look at these guys. These guys know. So let's just, <laughs> oh, there we go. Thank you. I appreciate it. Took you long enough. But these guys are gonna eventually grow up and we can start making our very first leather farm. Of course, it will take a bit of time. So when this sort of thing happens where I grow up a whole bunch of these cows, if we had 10 of them in each of these, or maybe 20 cows in each of these, actually, those would probably be 20 cows in each. There'll be 60 cows in total, which means we could really have 30 new cows each time, which is a lot. <laughs> That's a ridiculous amount of cows. So really, by the time we get all the cows here, we'll, we'll be all right. We'll be fine to just get a whole bunch of books every time, which is actually really good. Let's just wait for these guys to grow up. I think it takes about 10 minutes for them to all grow up, so it really won't be too long. And in the meantime, I've got stuff I need to chop down. All right, maybe it's a bit closer to 20 minutes, but that doesn't matter. Let's get these guys. And I know I can use a sword that will actually cook these, uh, all that sort of stuff. I'll eventually get there. I think we could even light these guys on fire and we can get cooked beef. But for now, I'm just gonna do that. I mean, I don't even have a hopper picking up the loot from these guys. The most important thing is, We've got ourselves six leather. Whoa, it's huge, it's massive. <laughs> okay, we'll start. This is a start, you see? These baby steps. There we go, let's just do that, 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 and that. And this is a big step because now we can make as much leather as we want. And you know what? We'll just, we'll go ahead and do this because this is amazing. We can finally say that we've got to move on to get close to our librarian. And you know what? Here we go, bam. <laughs> just, just for now, so that we can show that we have accomplished something, which is two bookshelves. These two bookshelves, they're gonna grow into many more. But for now, I think these guys <laughs> need to grow into many more. There we go. I've been waiting to breed these cows for ages, but I've been waiting for those guys to grow up even longer. So that's why I didn't breed these, didn't want these babies to get mixed up with those. Well, you know what? I think that there is success, if I've seen it. Look, <laughs> there it is. That is success, if I've ever seen it. Cancel the last one. 
But I think that there will do us for today's episode. So thank you so much for the crazy amount of support we've been receiving recently. And of course, for joining us here in this video. But that'll be all I have for you guys today. So as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.